My name's Tamsin. I study fine art at Sedge St Martins. I'm Sophie. I do advertising at LCC. So we met through my parents. Um, they came down for an open day at Will Wyatt. And then we moved into private accommodation together with yep. Sophie's other flatmates she met in halls. Decided to move out of halls because it sort of felt like a natural progression. It's a little close community that we have, four of us. We had the 42 week tenancy, so we started looking in March to then move out in June. We definitely needed two bathrooms, at least four beds. That'd be yeah, because really there's four of us, so four beds would be great. <laughs> the location here is really good. I think when you walk in, like the feel was nice. Yeah. She concurs with me. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a cool chair in your room as well. I've got your an grandfather's chair. chair. That's why I chose the room. Yeah. <laughs> the chair. We viewed about three or four places before this, and we all tried to be present and looking at them. I thought the bills would be much higher. A hundred guessing a month, but we're very stingy. We never put the heating on, and like the lights were like eco warriors. <laughs> Definitely do your meter readings. Do your meter readings, everybody. Otherwise, they'll charge you. Because they'll readings. charge you more. <laughs> so the best things about living in private accommodation versus halls. I like coming home to a front door and like not having to go through reception. You can have people around and host. You can personalise the space. We actually found a desk on the side of the road on our street. Do you remember? Yeah. Shouted her up the stairs and said, you need to help me carry this, I can't do it on my own. It's actually just over there. Oh, yeah, that one there, you're leaving it right now. <laughs> I don't think we have rules, but we have like courtesies that are just natural to us, like as friends. We share like all the utensils. We share cleaning and then like buying the cleaning products and there's no stress about it. But sometimes we have to give each other a nudge. Yeah, give it, usually not us, well not me. This is sort of like a passive aggressive, oh, I'm gonna do my washing now, and so someone will have to move yeah. for washing. You get like the random message, um, are you passing the shops, can you get milk? Like all the time. And the toilet roll, we go through that a lot. <laughs> so when we lived in halls, we did attend a talk um, provided by UAL. What to expect when you're wanting to move into private accommodation. Sabine, who's the um, private accommodations advisor, she was like super fun. She said, always view the flat or the house, never just buy it without seeing it. And she also um, can read your contract for you so that you know you're going to be in safe hands. It's nice that they also support students if they have any issues once they've moved out into private accommodation. So she'd give us um, her emails as well and like her telephone number just in case. So they're supporting you and they don't want you just to stay in halls your whole life. Um, I don't know about you, I've learned, I don't know, we're pretty tight as it goes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I already knew what you were like. You haven't yeah. really, there's nothing new about you. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just boring really. <laughs> <laughs>